Now, uh, DC does, uh, has had a few distractions. Last week he yeah. was on this show and his name was being dragged into the press for all the wrong reasons. Based on your conversation with him, what we saw on the show last night, his interview today, I, I mean, do you think the, those distractions will help or almost... I don't think it'll worry him. Yeah? Yeah, I, I think he's seasoned enough now to handle all that. Uh, he sorted out his business last week. He was content with the way it was all resolved uh, in every respect. And this week's all been about the football. He's had the, obviously the distraction mm. of Dan Gagai, but... He's a professional. I, I think he's sweet. got a great individual challenge on his hands in that Nathan Cleary's the form player of the competition and Daly's the Australian halfback. So it's going to be one of the great well, duels of the series. He, he is a great player, Daly Terry Evans. I don't use the word great loosely, but he, he really is. And you look at this Manly side this year and Tom Turbo has rightly got most credit for their stunning turnaround over the last six, eight weeks. You go back to round five, Manly were down, out, gone. They played the Warriors, I think it was the Central Coast. They desperately needed a long range and he kicked it. Now, his game management is what you die for. Mm. The way he can close down a game. And I'm not just talking games against the Warriors, I'm talking all big games like this origin. He is a great player. He was flat the opening month of the season, Buzz. He was, lost mate, those but four the, games he straight, was but the when bloke Tommy who returned, turned it with that kick before Turbo came Absolutely, round five, you're right, against the Warriors, and then from there, once Tom returned, that combination that month, really unlocked him. In that first month, he was trying too hard. Well, probably. he was trying to compensate for yeah. Tommy not being there. All right, let's head into Blues camp now. knew he was in the Blues team. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's going exactly as it should be in Blues camp. We all know that, and you have to admit Always things are is. going very, very good. Can I ask the question to you, Buss? Do you think Nathan Cleary's ever come into a State of Origin series in better form? No, he hasn't. He's the number one player in the game, I said it again today. He's one ahead of Turbo. He's steered that Penrith side around. He still is unbeaten over 25 weeks outside of the grand final. I'll use that word again, great. I think he's a great player. He cannot do more than what he's done the last two years. He's got the best kicking game in rugby league. He's brilliant attacking play. He's got speed, game awareness, game management. He has got the lot. And you saw Penrith and you saw Billy Kickow and players like that, how they performed without him in the football side the other night. And I know there were seven out, but I think they missed Cleary clearly more than any other player. Do you think there's pressure on him as an individual to deliver the Blues this series? I think he'll uh, accept the pressure. I think the kind of player he is, he knows the responsibility he's got with this team. It's all, the way I see it, it's all set up around him and what he brings. The whole Penrith contingent is generally coming in because it's, you know, they're all playing so well individually, clearly. But the fact is that Clear is the one that's plugging them all in. And they're plugged into him. So that's what Brad Fittler's looking for as far as the combinations. Candy, I think do dom dominating at this level is the final frontier for Nathan. He's won series previously. Well, he's got it all there, though, Herbs. He's got he's the mentality. He's at the age of 23 to do it. now. He's playing career best football, but he's yet to really ice big, big games. Well, at the moment, loss, it's like what we saw from Cameron Munster to win the Wally Lewis medal last year. That one loss that Buzz mentioned in it's that run grand of final. wins was the grand final. It wasn't be his best yeah, performance, was it? I know that, but. On form, if you're picking an Australian side now before Origin, I'd have him as halfback. I think he's the best player in the comp. Yeah, I don't Despite disagree. the fact he hasn't won a grand final. Now, uh, Blues coach Brad Fittler spoke with the media on Leaning in Townsville today and he was asked about Nathan Cleary's halves partner, Jerome Luai. Well, I suppose Thursday we'll find out exactly. Uh, it definitely is a step up in level, but he seems to have the courage when he plays for Penrith to play under pressure. I think that's one thing that Nathan and Jerome do very well is uh, when the pressure's on, they seem to get better. And State of Origin's all about that. When it's challenging and tough, that's when you really need to stand up and show your courage. You know, when it's easy, I think uh, both teams have got enough good players to capitalise on that. It was a couple of years since he played, so uh, I just think he's obviously older. Um, a lot of changes have gone on in his life, and he obviously stands up for what he thinks is right, and I think he believes that he, uh, he deserves to be, and so do we. So I think he'll be, looks really strong at the moment. You know, both physically and, I think, in character. So I think that'll come out in his footy. Yes. I'm a bit nervous about Latrell. Yeah. As a Queenslander. How are you nervous? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. As a Queenslander. Yeah, I just, I, I just think he's going to be in a mood. I've seen Latrell when he's in a mood. I think he's going to be fitter for having played the last year and a half at fullback. 
and he's got a point to prove. I think he's a great he's bet got for man a of the match. Point to prove. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I agree with, with Benny. I, I think he's he's come back. He's in a different frame of mind than last time he was there. We know when he gets that mood that, that Ben just spoke of, he can just dominate. He's big. He's physical. He's got he's got miles in the legs now playing fullback mm. that he's going to handle centre. He's going to want the ball. He's got Luai inside him coming playing to the left, which is the favourite side of the Rabbitohs. He's got Luai. It's his not side forgetting, of Not forgetting, Dane Gagai's had tonsillitis. He'll yeah, be marking yeah. up on him. Yeah, you know, he'll be marking up on him. double whammy. You're feeling more or less confident about Jerome Luai as we get closer to the game? Well, we'll find out in a tick over 48 hours. But look, I, I think he'll handle it, Ben. You've only got to look at the way that the Panthers halves play both sides of the field. And they've got this genius knack of Nathan can be dominant, but if he's getting pressured, then Jerome can pick up the slack and um, put in a little grubber, get a repeat set. Uh, whatever's required. So I, I think yeah, they, they'll be they'll go well together as a combination. Who, who, who do you, what do you think's the most potent edge buzz? Have you on got the a, left, it's Luai, yeah. Sims, Mitchell, Addo, Carr. On the right, it's Cleary, Murray, Travojevic, and Toto. Oh. I think they're both. I can't split them. They're just four great players each side. Doesn't matter where the football goes. The Blues probably slightly with Murray there over Sims, but. And Turbo there and Cleary there and Toho there. Probably the right, if I have to make a call. Although Kenny's... convinced. No, well, you're tipping Latrell for man of the match, so... Yeah, that's...